Many people haven't heard of Ubuntu's IoT or Internet of Things minimal embedded operating system that's also based on Linux. It's called Ubuntu Core. And it's an operating system, as it says, designed for IoT. So what is Ubuntu Core? Well, all components are containerized in snaps, also known as snap packages. And we can see that quite a few big companies are using them, at least they're being touted on the Ubuntu website, such names as Intel, Raspberry Pi, AMD, Nvidia, we got Dell, Siemens, and more. So here it says that it's for smart use cases. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, I'll give some general applications here but basically it lets you create your own production apps. On top of a Linux kernel, so we have Linux in the mix, of course, running the device, and then a few other systems such as boot and a file system supplied for you. So really these three things exist on core and that supplies enough to create your own production apps. Now, what kind of production apps you can create? Well, it says here signage, embedded, IoT, robotics, industrial, automotive, really any app that you can think of. It's not just specific to these. The best part here is Ubuntu Core can be used on very cheap systems such as a Raspberry Pi and has a lot of the basic Ubuntu tools that we're so used to using. And are you ready to start learning more about Linux today? Check out my Linux checklist and cheat sheet at learn.savvynick.com. There's a link below. Let's keep going through talking about what devices are supported here? So a couple devices here, it's touting security first. Well, one device is going to be a Rasp Pi, which much of the industry uses for small, fast, deployable, cheap embedded devices. Also any x86 based system and three virtual machines, mainly for testing purposes. But I will mention since Raspberry Pi is based on ARM. You can put this on ARM infrastructures or boards as well. It has awesome encryption available and they again tout security first. Well, this is because you get up to 10 years of security maintenance included. Now I say included, but you may actually have to pay for this one. So there might be some cost involved there for their security plan. 10 years is a long period of time. A lot of systems don't offer this and it's one of Ubuntu Core's most valuable assets to their production developers and users because they're going to constantly maintain those updates for security and we all know how important that is to keep things secure, especially something that can be potentially connected to the internet. And that's where things start getting wild because since it's built for business in mind, what is great is there's over the air update control. So what does that mean? Well, that means you can deploy your applications and manage them from one location. Let's say you're in the office and you have one, two, three, four, up to a thousand devices out there, all at different customers, environments, what have you, and you need to push an update. Well, Ubuntu Core makes it real easy to push that update from one location to all devices. Now, of course, you need an internet connection in order to do this, but you can see how the hub office pushes those updates to all those devices in the field, making the test to production time seamless, minimal, and cut down on that deployment time. So even if you've deployed a bunch of devices and you need to make updates to them quickly, you can do so because Ubuntu Core is tailored around that with the over-the-air update control. Now, for those of us who have really large enterprises and production environments, Ubuntu or technically Canonical can actually help you deploy your app or device with Ubuntu Core. So it's something else that uh, is quite nice. And there are also pre-certified boards that you can use. And another great thing is pay for extra services only. Ubuntu Core is free as it mentions here. What better way than to use one of our favorite OS's in an embedded device. So if you haven't heard of Ubuntu Core, make sure to check it out. Hopefully I can get a Raspi going with Ubuntu Core just to show some people around that haven't seen it before. I'd love to do that. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do that and make sure to subscribe below. Hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.